The Tesla Model 2 has everything it needs to become the brand's best-selling car in the United States by 2025. Although its design and performance are not the most revolutionary in the electric vehicle market, it certainly exceeds expectations within its price range. Elon Musk has already confirmed that the model is in the Tesla production line and will be offered in two versions, both manufactured at Giga Texas, with a production target of up to 10,000 units per week. One of the most anticipated aspects is its maximum range of 300 miles. In today's episode, we will focus on the three most important points, price, performance, and some design details. Of course, this affordable car brings several surprises that intrigue automotive enthusiasts. But above all, our mission is to bring you the most recent and accurate information. Especially at the end of this episode, we will address the current scenario of Tesla's EV production, answering some of the most common questions about the Model 2 and its updates. According to several analyses by experts and electric car enthusiasts, Tesla intends to keep the price of the Model 2 in the $25,000 range, which is in line with Elon Musk's statement about the CyberCab, which will be priced under $30,000. Both are compact and affordable vehicles, so this pricing makes sense. The main reason for the robo-taxi to cost less than $30,000 is its simplified construction. It will have a smaller battery and will not have a steering wheel or pedals, significantly reducing production costs. But how will Tesla manage to keep the Model 2 so affordable? And why is it expected to be priced at $20,000 when it was previously estimated to be higher? The answer is relatively simple. By removing features such as full self-driving FSD, Tesla's self-driving technology adds about $10,000 to the cost of the vehicle and eliminating it could make the car even cheaper. Additionally, the Model 2 will include elements missing from the CyberCab, such as a steering wheel, pedals, rear windows, and a full rear seat. This means the car could hit the market for $20,000 without compromising on the essentials. Another factor that will help reduce costs is the choice of a smaller battery, possibly around 53 kilowatt hours, as well as more affordable motors and a more streamlined interior. The Model 2 will still be able to seat at least four passengers, but cargo space will be reduced compared to the robo-taxi. Tesla's minimalist design will continue, prioritizing software-based controls over physical buttons, while the trim and seats will use standardized materials to reduce costs. Range may be a concern, but the battery will be one of the main points for cost-cutting making the model even more competitive. For comparison, the cheapest EVs in China, such as the BYD Seagull, use 30 kilowatt hour batteries, offering less than 200 miles of range, which is already enough to drive in urban centers. The fact that the Model 2 reaches 300 miles of range with a battery of the same size reinforces its great potential in the market. There is also the possibility that Tesla will hold a special launch event for the Model 2, something that Elon Musk already hinted at during the Q2 2024 earnings call. Based on the timeline presented, the official announcement could take place in early 2025. In addition, next year promises to be a period of great news for Tesla, with the arrival of a highly anticipated new Model right after the Model 2. After the recent facelift of the Model 3, the Model Y is expected to receive a significant update in design interior and performance in the 2025 version. Recently, Tesla gave clues about the CyberCab's battery pack, suggesting that it may feature 4,680 lithium iron phosphate cells. According to the automotive industry analysis by the limiting factor, it would not be surprising if the Model 2 or the Model Y Juniper adopt this same technology. The 4,680 cells are currently Tesla's most advanced and cost-effective solution and manufacturing them in-house would ensure that the automaker qualifies for the $7,500 federal tax credit. This means that if the Model 2 starts at $25,000, eligible buyers could get it for a reduced price, possibly as low as $20,000 or less. Even if Tesla chooses to use LFB, lithium iron phosphate, batteries in the Model 2, technology already found in about 70% of the brand's vehicles, it wouldn't be a major shock to the market. If production of those batteries were moved to the United States, rather than relying on imports from China, that would further increase the likelihood 
that the car would qualify for the tax incentives. Elon Musk had already mentioned his intention to manufacture a more affordable electric vehicle during Battery Day in 2020, highlighting that advances in battery technology, especially with 4,680 cells, would be essential to reduce costs without compromising autonomy and performance. Despite all the anticipation, concrete details about the Model 2 are still limited. What is known is that it will be a more compact and affordable car, with a target price below $25,000, a range that could make it one of the most popular EVs on the market. Considering Tesla's history of exceeding expectations, it would not be surprising to see this model on the streets ahead of schedule. And you, would you be willing to wait for the Model 2 if it really is launched for around $20,000? Another interesting point is that Tesla has adjusted the design of the Model 2. According to information from company employees, it will not be a hatchback, but rather a compact crossover, maintaining the brand's characteristic minimalist look. The design will follow a modern approach, with clean lines and subtle details, incorporating unique elements that reinforce Tesla's visual identity. To give you a clearer idea, the model may second share some similarities with a recently introduced Cybercab. The Cybercab, for example, has a very straightforward design with a yellow body, an LED bar serving as a headlight, only two doors, covered wheels, and a wide windshield. Despite its simplicity, it still manages to stand out for its futuristic and attractive look. In the case of the Model 2, it will be about 20% smaller than the Model 3, and its simplified design will be one of the factors that will allow it to keep the cost below $25,000. It is likely that the model will feature a striking light bar, aerodynamic wheels, and features similar to the Model 3, especially at the rear. However, unlike the Cybercab, which is expected to feature Falcon Wing-style doors, the Model 2 will follow a more conventional format, with four traditional doors. Inside, Tesla intends to balance comfort and economy, maintaining enough space for up to five occupants, but reducing costs to reach the $25,000 US dollar target. The interior space will be smaller than that of the Model 3, and the focus will be on practicality for everyday use, without luxurious features. The materials used in the finish, dashboard, and door handles will follow the brand's minimalist philosophy, opting for more accessible components. The steering wheel may be simpler, the seats will probably not have ventilation, and the touchscreen may be reduced to 12 inches, smaller than the 15.4 inches of the Model 3. Even the use of wood trim may be minimized. These choices do not represent quality cuts, but rather strategic decisions to make the Model 2 an accessible car for a wide audience. This simpler approach may not be to everyone's taste, but it's important to remember that the Tesla Model 2 was not designed to be a luxury vehicle. It follows Elon Musk's vision of offering an affordable electric car for the masses. If consumers don't accept this leaner proposal, Tesla may reconsider the design, as previously pointed out by Reuters. To further reduce production costs, the Model 2 will likely not feature entertainment screens for rear passengers, LED ambient lighting, or multiple physical buttons on the dashboard. Tesla is expected to maintain its minimalist philosophy, centralizing most of the car's controls in its software, which will allow over-the-air updates for improvements and bug fixes, one of the company's trademarks. Still, the Model 2 will not be a car without innovations. Tesla is expected to incorporate important technological advances, such as the adoption of a 48V electrical architecture, a concept that the company has already indicated it intends to implement in its future vehicles. This could give a Model 2 a significant advantage over competitors in the same price range. You may be wondering, will a cheaper battery compromise the Model 2's performance and range? The answer is not so simple. Although it is not a high-performance vehicle aimed at enthusiasts looking for more than 300 miles of range, within its category, it can stand out as the best option. In the Master Plan Part 3, released on April 5, 2023, Tesla confirmed that the Model 2 will feature a 53-kilowatt-hour lithium iron phosphate LFB battery pack. With this battery, the model should offer at least 250 miles of range in one of its versions which is an excellent mark for an electric car under $30,000. Like other Tesla models, 
it will be available in single and dual motor versions. Another positive point is that the Model 2 will be approximately 30% lighter than the Model Y, which will contribute to greater energy efficiency. Additionally, there's a possibility that a long-range version could achieve around 300 miles of range, though that could push its price tag up to between $28,000 and $30,000. It's worth noting that the Model 2's LFB batteries will be state-of-the-art and supplied by CTL, with a higher energy density than those used in the Model 3 and Model Y. This means the new technology will be able to store more energy while weighing less. Another impressive differentiator is the charging speed. CATL claims that its LFB batteries can reach 80% charge in just 10 minutes. However, in practice, due to external factors such as temperature and charging infrastructure, a recharge time of around 20 minutes seems more realistic, which is still a remarkable achievement for an affordable car. Batteries account for around 50% of the cost of an electric vehicle. And choosing a 53 kilowatt hours LFB pack will play a key role in keeping the Model 2 within the affordable price range. Although lithium iron phosphate batteries are not the most powerful on the market, they stand out in terms of safety, longevity, charging speed, and, above all, cost effectiveness. The choice of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries for the Model 2 is strategic as Tesla ramps up production of these cells at its Nevada Gigafactory. With equipment supplied by CATL, local manufacturing will reduce dependence on Chinese imports and could allow the Model 2 to qualify for federal tax incentives. If it meets the criteria for the $7,500 tax credit, the final price of the vehicle could drop to a staggering $17,500. The idea of a sub dash dollar twenty zero 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 Tesla seems almost unrealistic but the company has invested heavily in cost reductions to make this a viable project. While Chinese automakers already dominate the production of electric vehicles at a cost up to a third lower than in other parts of the world, Tesla is trying to find a balance to compete globally. However, there is skepticism about whether the company can achieve this price target, especially given Elon Musk's history of ambitious deadlines and unexpected production challenges. Still, Tesla may have a significant advantage. The Model 2 is expected to follow a minimalist approach, with a smaller battery, no advanced autonomous driving features, and sharing components with the Model 3 and Model Y. With this strategy, achieving an affordable price seems a real possibility. While the Model 2 positions itself as one of Tesla's most affordable electric vehicles, the company is also moving forward on another front, electric trucks. The Tesla Semi is already standing out as one of the automaker's most innovative projects, arousing interest in the transportation sector. Since the first deliveries in December 2022, production has been taking place in small quantities, prioritizing strategic partners such as PepsiCo. Now, Tesla is building a new facility at Gigafactory Nevada to enable large-scale manufacturing from 2025. Tesla recently delivered two semi-units to Saya, an American transportation company with a fleet of around 5,000 trucks. In an official statement, Saya celebrated the partnership as a technological advance to optimize its operations. Tesla's semi-program leader, Dan Priestley, revealed that the trucks have been in operation for over a month now, achieving an impressive energy efficiency of 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile a result similar to that recorded by DHL in previous tests. In addition, Tesla announced improvements to the semi's performance, reducing consumption to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile, which could generate substantial savings in operating costs. In parallel, the construction of the semi's dedicated factory reached an important milestone with the completion of the main structure, paving the way for large-scale production. During the Q3 2024 earnings call, Elon Musk highlighted the huge demand for the Tesla Semi, emphasizing that its cost per ton transported significantly exceeds that of diesel trucks. Now, we want to hear your opinion. If the Model 2 really hits the market for under $20,000, would you consider buying it? What features are essential for you in an affordable electric car? Leave your comment below and stay tuned for our upcoming videos to stay up to date with the latest on the Tesla Model 2.